For our first video of the day, who's ready to get a little bit controversy, you know? As a follow-up question, who watching is a parent? Like, not is obvious. You are a father, a mother, a parent to a child of some kind. Follow-up question, who is a co-parent? So who is doing this parenting journey with someone that you are not with anymore? I think that that actually makes up a pretty large part of my audience being the advocate, but I ask because one of the more sensitive topics that comes up in regards to co-parenting, moving on, introducing step-parents is, is it ever appropriate for a child to call a step-parent mom or dad? I told you guys we would get a little bit controversial today. As you keep your, your answer or your initial reaction in mind, I've got a video for you today posted by a verified account. When it's verified on TikTok, I feel like that means a little bit more because it's not something you can simply pay for. I'm not entirely sure what this person is kind of famous for, but I'm going to imagine they probably have a pretty large audience. Let's take Gander. Oh, wow. Five million followers. Oh, I've seen this person before. I've definitely seen this TikToker. I'm sure I've even liked some of their stuff, but but I don't know. They just look super familiar. Uh, bartender at Uncle Jesse's and toddler mom. So I'm assuming they got famous basically through social media. Otherwise you would see like author or something probably. I don't know. But I also wanted to read this caption. It reads, I'm literally shaking. I don't know how to handle this. Hashtag mama, hashtag ex-husband, hashtag baby daddy probs, hashtag tea time. So you know I'm ready to hear what is the buzz. I just met up with my ex-husband to exchange our son. Okay. And I found out that my toddler has been calling my ex-husband's new wife mama. So when okay, okay, ex-husband, new wife, unsure exactly of the timeline from what I've surmised from the comment section with the brief homework I did prior to presenting this to you, I know that he was engaged within just a couple to a few months of the initial separation. We'll read the comments later. I'll just restart the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I just met up with my ex-husband to exchange our son, and I found out that my toddler has been calling my ex-husband's new wife, Mama. So when he said it in the car, I was like, huh? So I marched my butt back over to the car where he was, and I said, has, has Ryder been calling her Mama? And he said, yeah. He, why? Why? He said, because she is his mom when you're not there. I said, she is not his mom. He said, she is when you're not there. I just want to know how you guys feel about this. I know that there's other people going through this. Am I just in my emotions of being upset about this? Because I birthed him. Personally, I feel like I'm the only one that gets that privilege. I can't imagine calling somebody else mom when I was growing up. My parents did not stay together. Just like to know your guys' thoughts about this. Okay, I shall share my thoughts. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to break this down a bit though. Story time. If you guys don't know, I myself is am a stepmom. I met my stepson when he was five. He is sixteen now. Okay. Now, when I first came into the picture, I pretty much was like doing Cirque du Soleil, bending over backwards to try to make sure everyone felt comfortable. Okay, no little girl gets like a, a training guide when they're young of like how to be a stepmom. Like there's no little girl is like, when I grow up, I want to be a stepmom. Just like no little girl is like, when I grow up, I want to share my child with some other lady. Like literally not in anybody's cursive daydreams. It has never happened. But the reality of the situation was, as me and my stepson, you know, continued to very organically bond. I did not force myself in there. I was not like trying to take a leadership or the reins of the situation. We, we got to the wedding day and 
on our first, I guess, official day of the honeymoon, the day after the wedding day, this little boy comes bursting into the room and he goes, I'm so excited because now that you're married, I can finally call you mom. And my whole life flashed before my eyes. I was like, is there like, a mafia anywhere tied to his bloodline like because I gotta start looking out for myself now I said I mean not if you don't want to see me in a body bag <laughs> I, I immediately and I didn't mean to be so dismissive or like harsh but I was like um I don't think that's a good idea buddy but the thing is kid had like a PowerPoint at this point he's like about eight years old and he was like, listen, you married my dad. That makes you my mom. And I'm like, eh. And he goes, ah, 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 I'm not done yet. And when you have kids, that kid is going to call you mom and dad. It's going to be really weird if I'm not saying mom and dad. And I was like, I mean, okay, but. And he's like, and I've always wanted a house where I can just say mom and dad. Obviously, his biological mother was not there for that conversation. And we've never really had the kind of, like, sisterhood or, like, close-knit relationship to where, like, I, I could ever explain that to her, like, or that would even, like, come up in conversation. But I did ultimately decide, you know, my husband was comfortable with it. He sold me on the idea. I was like, if that is what you feel comfortable doing, then go ahead. But if you want to go back to just calling me Miss Lauren, know that I will not ever be offended. But like I said, he's 16 now and I've been mom ever since. And it's something that like, I know pisses people off. <laughs> that kid should go up to me in sales, he'd make a killing. <laughs> Honestly though, like he, he's pretty good. I can't tell you how many times I've been like, ah, da, da, like you can't do this you know, whatever. And then he comes back at me with like a super reasonable explanation. I'm like, you know what? Honestly, <laughs> I can't argue with that. You know what was his best one, actually? This one was wild. I hit him with the, what do you think I am made out of money? And he goes, isn't that what mom stands for? I was like, dang, I ain't even mad. But since then, years later, I actually heard of an even better comment come back to that. Uh, I heard a mom get hit by that and she goes, yeah, but I'm your mama. That stands for made out of money, my ass. <laughs> Damn! I was like, oh, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. So that being said, let's get into some of the other like meat and potatoes of this discussion. She asks, why is this happening? Which completely valid question, by the way, there, there is no part of me that is invalidating her response to this. Okay. Because if, if at any point, you know, my stepson's mom was like, why is this happening to us? Then I, then I would be able to explain what I just explained to you guys. You know what I mean? When she asks why he says, because she is his mom when you're not there. Every co-parenting situation is a snowflake. You know what I mean? Everybody has different reasons for doing things. Everybody has different responses to things and rules and boundaries. This one's interesting and kind of telling because tell me if you guys think differently, but the way that this kind of reads to me is that this father may be influencing it or the stepmother may be influencing it or they both might be influencing it because this doesn't really, I mean, this is a toddler. Toddler is between the ages of two to three respectively. Maybe you can argue at four you're a toddler, but like at four you're actually halfway to being able to drive your mom's minivan to Target as it turns out. So like I, <laughs> I consider toddler more two to three. The dexterity and motor skills of four-year-olds is actually pretty unchampioned. Them mother f are capable of heinous acts of villainry. <laughs> It could go either way with an aged two to three year old toddler. They may say like, oh, so this is my new mommy. Okay, I have two mommies, like very simply. Like they might just be like, daddy married a new woman. That's my new mommy. And that's what, that's their idea. That's their interpretation. Or, cause we've, I'm sure we've all seen this happen plenty of times. We've seen the parent trap, okay? 
Or this could be a case of dad wanting to be an asshole or stepmom overstepping and saying like, well, I want you to call me mommy. It'll hurt my feelings if you don't call me mommy. You know, I've seen it all. So I'm not sure which one of these happened, but I will say it could go so either way. Because again, in my situation, my stepson truly did feel that when his mom was not there, that he did feel that I was a close substitute. That he enjoys the atmosphere of both figures. Obviously he knows we're not the same. Obviously he knows who birthed him. But this is where we kind of come into her next point here. She argues, I birthed him and therefore I'm the only one who gets this privilege. Now not to get too technical but like what then about adoptive parents? Yes, you you birthed him, but like, what about, I don't know, surrogate parents? Like, do you now have to have a separate title? Again, I don't want to get too nitpicky with the technicalities because I know what she's saying here. She's saying, I am the biological mom. That is a title that will always be distinguished and different than any other additional bonus parent that comes into my child's life. And absolutely that is true. Absolutely that is true. But then when it comes to the next point of like, I would never think of someone, you know, imagine calling someone else mom when my parents didn't stay together. Well, my parents actually did stay together and are still together. So I, I've never really had to worry about having a step parent figure in my life. However, there are still other women that I've called mom in my life. And I don't know, maybe I'm just lucky, but like you get close enough to your friends' moms, you know, you start calling them mama and then their last name. Or, you know, when you marry, your mother-in-law, God blessed, you know, hoping that you actually have a good relationship with your mother-in-law, does become a second mother to you. If you want to call them mom or not is up to you, but I certainly would hope that no one would hold it against you if you choose to call your mother-in-law mom. So ultimately, I'm reacting to this not to drag this woman by any means. You know what I mean? Two things can be true at once. You can be stuck in your emotions, <laughs> you know, you can be, but that can be valid, you know? This is certainly something that one does not process like that. Even if there are valid reasons for your child to really desire calling someone else mom or dad, that's still not going to be easy for anybody. I don't know if I've, I've not been doing the best job of reading every single comment today, unfortunately, but I want to kind of scroll through here of, uh, it, does anybody, did anybody go through this where you had to watch your kids start calling someone else mom or dad? I think it's best to avoid it. I definitely don't think it's cool at all when parents or step parents encourage it. I would not say that me eventually saying like, you know what, do what you feel comfortable with is like the same type of encouraging as, you know what would make me so happy? I would be so happy if you called me mom. You know, that's where it gets like tacky at best. So th this is really interesting. This top comment says, or at least one of the top comments I should say, I don't know why it's showing up to the top. Does this person follow me? That could be it. Let's see if the follow back appears. No, okay, they just know I'm a stepmom, I guess. This comment says, is she good to your kid? My daughter calls her stepmom and me both mom. I don't think it's a bad thing. He recognizes her as a safe person. I feel that toddlers will say mama if they feel that love. Okay, so this is like pretty similar to my take, I would say, but of course it's coming from an actual mom who has gone through it and is going through it. And like, uh, okay, we love a healthy healed queen, first of all. <laughs> McKenna says she shouldn't even be okay with that. Michelle says, I agree, she has kids. She is good to write her, so I'm not trying to dog her, but I'm really hurt. How would she feel if her kids called someone else mama? And I'm sure these are all thoughts that are going through her head, but at the same time, it's also like, sometimes the answer is in the equation, you know? Like you said it yourself, she has kids. So then now that they're a blended family and those are her new siblings, you can call them half siblings if you want. We personally don't use that word in our house, 
But, you know, th that would also make a toddler feel a lot more comfortable just saying, like, well, in this house, you know, this is mom and dad here, and then I also have mom and dad, or, you know, maybe eventually mom and dad, I don't know, I guess at this point it's just mom, and maybe that's part of the pain, you know? But I'm, I'm sure the stepmom has considered it. You know, like, I don't know what's going on with her kid's other partner, but most people don't stay alone forever. She'll probably, she probably has had to deal with that. And this is where we get, like, kind of the concrete proof of everything. Like, people always want to argue with me. Women don't go for soul custody just to spite men. Women only go for soul custody if a man is seriously f***. Don't we always hear this? Don't we always hear this narrative that like, guys, bitter baby mama is so overused. Like we're not bitter, we're just protecting our children. And yet, me and my anger issues would immediately sue for 100% custody, liked by 1,000, 37 people. Obviously, a lot of those heart reacts are going to be from people who are like jokingly liking it and would not actually do that, but it's only funny if it's coming from a place of truth. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be funny if it wasn't true. As a stepmom, I am Ashley. They already have a mama. Okay, okay. He's already remarried, blush face. Followed by, yeah, I know, I roll. Could you imagine, like, being the stepmom and like, I'm sure that this three million follower TikTok account is not like a mystery to this family. <laughs> they would be in their fair right to be monitoring her posts as well. I don't think it would be creepy or invasive of them to be checking on the TikToks and stuff and looking into this. So I don't think it'd be weird, but like you've got to imagine if I'm like this other family, like looking at this, it's gotta be like, <laughs> to have your whole like custody issues in the public eye like that kind of awkward. As a stepmom, oh hell no, much respect for this. This is how it should be unless the kid chooses otherwise. See, and this is where it kind of comes down to is like, are we asking our kid like, hey, whose choice was it to do this? You know, like, did was this something that you asked to do or was this something that daddy and, you know, new stepmom asked you to do? I think that's a, a really quick way to get to the bottom of it unless your kid is nonverbal, but at that point it's just consonants. Do they even mean it when they say mama? <laughs> His response to you was really disrespectful. Can we get a like a quick vote in the chat? Do you guys agree with this? Yes or no? Do you agree that his response was disrespectful? Because I don't know how to interpret it. I have to be there to have heard the tone because there's a couple different ways that that conversation could have gone. It could have gone her who let's reasonably presume is heated and pissed because that's how she described herself she comes marching up to his car and is going why is Ryder calling your new wife mama why why is that happening his response was either because at our house she's the mom yeah he does that or it was it's just that at our house he does consider her to be in the mom role you know at our house she is mom and you know that's not to replace you I would have to hear the connotation Okay, if it was like really short and curt, it would have me like second, triple and quadruple guessing if this whole thing was orchestrated to hurt me. But at the same time, you always want to keep yourself in check from like catastrophizing and like assuming the most ill intent for a decision. Like, is the child calling stepmom mama because this was all designed to harm me in the worst ways imaginable? Or is this just kind of like the organic course of how a child will feel when they are integrated in an environment where all of their siblings are saying mom and dad? You know? <laughs> so yeah, this was another one that was interesting. This says, I think I missed a chapter. How is he already remarried? To which she responds, I know, I haven't mentioned it out of respect but he clearly doesn't respect my wishes. He was engaged two months after I kicked him out. Now, I said I wasn't going to roast her about this video, and I won't. Like I said, she has every right to be upset about this. What I will roast her about is this whole comment response here. I haven't mentioned it out of respect, but he clearly doesn't respect my wishes. 
What would, what does that mean? What were your wishes? Were you like, hey, you're not allowed to date or get remarried for this amount of time. <laughs> like, what do you, what were your wishes? Because in the very next sentence you say, he was engaged two months after I kicked him out. Now, do I recommend getting engaged two months after leaving another relationship? No, obviously not. Moving too fast, not great. However, that's simply the point of which you kicked him out. We know that marriages can often end years before the divorce even shows up. Girthy, I never called my stepmom mom, but looking back, she absolutely did everything that a normal mom would do when I was over at my dad's house. So that's another crappy part too, is um, it's, it's probably a lot easier to look at how hard it is for the biological mom than it is to look at how hard it is for the stepmom. Because we kind of carry this like home wrecker mantle, even if we met the kid or the kid and the dad years after the breakup like I did. But it is diff so difficult being the stepmom when like you constantly have to acknowledge that like you're not the mom you're not a real parent and stay in your lane but then you also have to rise to the almost the exact same responsibility as their real parents it's like when your manager is like hey do you want to take on a new cool position of training all of the employees and you're like okay do i get a raise or like a new title for training all of the employees and they're like no you get the same title and no raise in pay it's like you basically have to do all the same jobs as the biological parent but like you do not get to get the credit you don't even get to feel entitled to credit like stay in your lane you know what I mean <laughs> Yeah, like going like going back to this, it's like you you so you kicked him out, but we know that how long were you guys separated for? What were the situation what separated you? Did you already know that he was with this woman? Have you been separated for years? He's been dating you for years, but you finally were like, no, we're not cohabitating anymore needs more info. A boundary is one of those things that is completely valid but also gets weaponized a lot by people who like to take therapy speak for the, the wrong ways. And like this is one of those things is a boundary is something that you set for yourself that is like these are things that people cannot do to you. So one way that people will misuse boundaries they'll be like well I have a boundary that you're not allowed to talk to any of your friends past 10 p.m. That's not really a boundary though, that you can call that a preference. You can make that your hill to die on, but that's not the same thing as a boundary. A boundary is like, I do not invite house guests past 9 p.m. You know what I mean? Like you, you have to leave by 9 p.m. That's a boundary, okay? And in the same regard, she's trying to use wishes that way. He didn't respect my wishes. Well, that's the thing about a wish is you're allowed to say like, I would strongly prefer that you not move on very quickly. You can wish that, but you understand that you're not entitled to just placing that onto someone. You can't just be like, oh, well, I guess you just don't respect my wishes. Like, dude, you kicked him out. You don't want the relationship anymore. You have returned him to the streets, which means that someone else is allowed to pick him up and dust him off. It's legal. <laughs> like I said, my, my final consensus on the, that is that, yeah, definitely avoid and do not pressure your kid into calling your new husband, new wife, whoever, mom or dad. But if it's something kid brings up, you gotta let that one go, man. Gotta let it go.